All right, let's go ahead and make a fast fountain. To get the tools the way mine are, just go to View and to Toolbars. Choose Large Set. Take away the Getting Started. Hit the Close, and we're good to go. Now I want to take the hand. I'm going to move this person off to the side just a little bit. Uh, we're going to make a fountain. So we'll start with our rectangle tool. We'll come over here, and I'll just go a little bit behind him, bring it about like this. And uh, then we're going to go to the circle tool, we'll come in here, and we're going to make a large circle about like this. He's going to be standing beside a fountain. Next, we'll use the push-pull tool. We'll come up. We're going to use the offset tool. Come to the center. We're going to make two circles, one for the rim. The other one will be for the center post for the fountain. You can see if we take our push-pull tool, we can lower this for the water level. We can raise this up to the next level here. We'll come back and use the offset tool again from the center. This time we're bringing it out. About like this. We're going to pull it up. We're going to pull this up. Uh, about right there. Let's go ahead and use the offset tool again. Bring in the side right there. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see what we're doing and, and reposition. And now we're going to paint make the third tier. So we will again use the offset tool, come into the center. I don't think it's quite high enough. I want to make this other level a little bit higher. Now I'll use the offset tool. Right from the center, I'm going to bring it out a little bit. I'll call that good. I'll, I will bring this up. Oh, I actually want to bring this post up a little bit too. Actually, on the third level here, I don't really need to, so I'll leave it in here. I'll bring this up. I will close off the center area, going from one side to the other. That will close my plane. I can then erase the area here without erasing the center post. Uh, looks like it's time for the offset one more time. Bring it in here. Now we'll use our push-pull tools. Drop it down, drop it down, and now we're just ready to fill things in. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, we could even go on with a fourth one, and maybe this, this one right here on the top is maybe a bit big, but for purposes of this, it'll work. Uh, we'll go to the paint bucket. We'll come in here. We're going to choose some water first. Uh, pick whichever water you like, and add the water. Next. We're going to come over and use Tile. Uh, let's see, I think I'll put the tile on the bottom like that. Uh, the tile on the uh, sides here. Uh, this looks like a really cool looking tile, I like that. Uh, but for variety, we'll add this. Uh, zoom in, of course, and get your edges so that everything looks the same. Uh, the same thing for this tile here. And maybe for the top, I will just continue with, uh, I'll put something fun in there just so that we can see a difference. And there. Now for the posts, because water is flowing, we probably want to come back and add water to that area. So that's what we'll do. Um, I'll use a little different color water on this area. There it is. There's a fountain. Call that done. Thank you.